I was. I woke up with a heavy case of amnesia in the middle of nowhere. The only clue to my past is Harry's name and address inside this hat. So I made my way to the apartment, and that's when I found you and your stapler gun. Stop talking! You're a hallucination! You're a hallucination. So you're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I could stop whenever I want. These are just choices. Another round, extra shot, black as night. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> What is up guys, Kid Critic is back with another review, and this review is of the new Pokemon film, Detective Pikachu, which is directed by Rob Letterman, and stars Justice Smith and Ryan Reynolds, and it's about... Ace Detective Harry Goodman goes mysteriously missing, prompting his 21-year-old son, Tim, to find out what happened. Aiding in the investigation is Harry's former Pokemon partner, wisecracking, adorable, super sleuth, Detective Pikachu, finding that they are uniquely equipped to work together as Tim is the only human who can talk with Pikachu, they join forces to unravel the tangled mystery of his father. Now with that out of the way, Joker, start this review for us. And here we go. Now look, I am no Pokemon fan whatsoever, but the trailers I really enjoyed. And when you hear Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu, you're like, what? That makes absolutely no sense. But I thought he just looked adorable in the trailers. So coming out of this movie, I ended up having a great time with this movie, even though I am not a Pokemon fan. Now my first pro with the movie is Pikachu. He's the most adorable thing that you'll just ever see. And every joke that comes out of his mouth just hit for me and it's easy for that character to pull on your heartstrings because he's just so adorable. You just want to give him a big hug. And the problem with having such a big star such as Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu is that whenever he's talking you're like, that's Ryan Reynolds talking, not Pikachu. But that didn't necessarily affect me, but I know it affects others, but I, I didn't really mind it. The performances all around I thought were really solid. Justice Smith, the first like I would say 10-15 minutes or so until he meets Pikachu. His character I just felt got a little bit annoying because he felt a lot like the character from that he played in Jurassic World who I just thought was a screaming baby in that movie. However, the relationship that he has with Pikachu and the relationship that they show he had with his father, it made me enjoy the character a lot more and there's lots of great emotional sequences with him, Pikachu, and other characters in the film that I will not say because that is spoilers. And I really enjoyed the world building in this movie. It felt like a rated PG version of Happy Time Murders, but instead it's with Pokemon. And I even had a little feel of the Hunger Games in there with all these like Pokemon contests. It felt like the Hunger Games sort of to me. Now, if you guys remember, I said all the jokes that come from Pikachu just like hit for me. But most of the jokes that didn't come from Pikachu just felt flat most of the time there's a couple jokes here and there that I thought worked but I just felt like most of the jokes just fell flat on their face that didn't come from Pikachu because the Pikachu jokes in this movie I thought were hilarious and the antagonist in this movie was awful the motivation for this character was just like any other bad guy in, in this movie like, th like this is his motivation like I am the future that this world needs and like that that was just his character like come on in the words of Deadpool, that, that that is just lazy writing. And then Catherine Newton, who is in this movie, who is in other movies like Blockers and is in a lot of hit TV shows right now, who I also think is a wonderful actress, I just found her character in this movie to be absolutely useless. Now, yes, she gives out clues that during the movie, but Pikachu and Justice Smith's character could have figured that out on their own. And her character basically plays like the love interest of Justice Smith's character, but she didn't really elevate his character, nor did I feel very interested in her character, but either though her performance was really good and, this, and she did have a couple nice moments throughout the movie. I also found a couple parts of the mystery to be a bit predictable, but I didn't see some of the big parts of the mystery coming. However, I'm not the brightest when it comes to mysteries and movies. In fact, I'm actually pretty dumb when it comes to mysteries and movies. So you could probably take that with a grain of salt. Not that I have salt. So overall, even with its problems, I think Detective Pikachu is a fun time at the movies and I think Pokemon fans will have a great time with this film because either though I'm not a Pokemon fan, there's lots of Pokemon characters in this movie. Not, I mean, I don't know them, but there are lots of Pokemon characters in this film. And overall, I just think it's a blast with lots of heart with solid performances and Pikachu is just adorable and I just want a stuffed animal of him right now. With that said, I give Detective Pikachu a... 
3.6 out of 5 Fernies. That is right, folks. I give Detective Pikachu a 3.6 out of 5 Fernies. Really enjoyed the movie, either though I'm not a Pokemon fan. I do give this movie props because I do think you can enjoy this adventure that this movie takes you on. Now with that out of the way, as always, remember to like and subscribe and look out for the next video or review. And peace.